here the numbers are not compared like the see we have done in other another sorting algorithm suppose i am taking 15 and 10 then i am going to compare this 15 with with this 10 is 15 greater than 10 yes then do swapping something like this see we are not going to do any comparison here between the numbers given right so now if no comparison is there then how the data is to be sorted see data is to be sorted here digit by digit we are going to sort the data according to the place value of the digit or you can say the position of the digit in that number see suppose we are taking a number 4 to 1 right so this is what see place value is what here we have this place value of this one is ones place value of two is tens place value of this four is hundreds fine and face value of this one is one face value of this is two face value of this is four i, I hope you know what is face value and place value right so we are going to start from the least significant digit least significant digit is this side and this is the most significant digit so i'm going to start this sorting from this least significant digit and we are going to move towards most significant digit right digit by digit the data is to be sorted so see how the data is to be sorted digit by digit let us take this example we are going to solve this one we are going to we are going to sort this data using redix sort fine see the uh, sorting algorithm we have discussed bubble quick merge selection insertion those are comparison based sorting and the best best time complexity for those comparison based algorithm is order of n log n or you can say omega n log n they cannot do better than this so after sorting we, we are also going to see what is the time complexity for this redix sort fine see here the first step in this sorting algorithm is out of these given numbers find out the maximum number fine now see by looking at these number we can see the maximum number is what 802 second step is calculate how many digits are there in this maximum number how many digits are there 1 2 and 3 now third step is you are going to make all these numbers a three digit number right now how we are going to make you are going to put zeros now where where you are going to put zeros suppose this is the number this is two digit number one and two now where you are going to put zero to make it a three digit number you cannot put zero here because if you put zero here then it will become 150 and the number is 15 fine so you cannot change the number the value of this number that is why we are going to put zero to the here this side now all the numbers are three digit number fine see redix means basically the base so here i am dealing with decimal numbers so base for decimal number is 10 right so that is why i am going to take 10 buckets this is also known as bucket sorting so here we are going to take 10 bu 10 buckets from 0 to 9 fine see this sorting algorithm is also used to sort strings or you can say alphabets in that case the base is 26 for alphabets so we are going to take buckets from 0 to 25 right in that case how we are going to sort suppose i am going to take two names one is jenny and one is jia so in that case we are going to start from here or you can say from msb the, you can say from the most significant a bit right so we are compare with this the, with this both are j then fine again we are going to compare second here we have e here we have i so e comes first then i so this is this jenny comes first then jia right in case of numbers we are going to we are going to check from this side from the least significant digit right now see so now we are going to take 10 buckets ranging from 0 to 9 right and now we are going to put these numbers into these buckets now th next step is how we are going to fill these buckets see this is pass 1 so in pass 1 we are going to sort we are going to sort these numbers according to which digit the least significant digit and the least significant digit is this one so we are going to check this digit of every number right and see so first of all check this number the least significant digit is 5 so now we are going to put this number in which bucket in fifth bucket the number the bucket having number 5 
so here i am going to put this one 015 next number is 001 now we are sorting the data according to this this digit so i am just going to check this digit here we have one so i am going to put this in bucket one here we have one so i am going to put again this in one here we have zero so we are going to put this in zero here we have two in bucket two here we have two in bucket two here we have three so we are going to put this in bucket three here we have zero again we are going to put this in bucket zero then nine we are going to put this in ninth bucket and then one we are going to put this in zero one one oneth bucket right now next step is we are going to remove the data from this these buckets and how starting from zeroth bucket now see this bucket is having two numbers now which number you are going to remove first this number the first number right not this number you remember you are going to move this number first so in one bucket also from first this then this then this now remove one by one from data from all buckets and after pass one after pass one the data is something like this first of all remove this one so the data is 010 then 90 Then zero zero one. Then you remove three twenty one. Then zero one one. Now after first pass, the data is this one. So here one more thing you have to take care. The passes would be same as number of digits in the maximum number. So maximum number is eight zero two. Number of digits are three. So here we have three passes. So after pass one, the data is something like this. Now pass two. In pass two, we are going to sort the data according to which digit this digit. the second one right the digit which, which is at 10th place we have already sorted the data according to this digit the digit which is at 1th place right now this digit now again we are going to take 10 buckets now repeat the same step check first number this one 010 now we are going to take which digit this one the digit which is at Tenth place. Now here we have one, so we are going to put this in this bucket, bucket number one. We have nine, so we will we are going to put this in this bucket. Here we have zero zero one in zeroth bucket. Three two one two, second bucket. Zero one one in oneth bucket. Bucket eight zero two zero is there, so eight zero two. Here also we have zero. Here we have two, one two three. Here we have one. Zero one five and here we have zero one zero nine. These buckets are empty. Fine, so that's fine. Now next step is what you are going to remove the data from these buckets. Now how from the starting bucket and from starting bucket also if many numbers are there, then we are going to remove the first number first, right? So after pass two, this is pass two. So after pass two, the data is something like this. Remove this one. Zero zero one. Eight zero two zero zero two one zero nine. Here we have zero one zero. So after pass two, the data is this one. Now the last pass, that is the third pass. In that pass, we are going to sort the data according to which digit, the third one, this one, the digit which is at hundredth place, right? So now repeat the same step. We are going to take again ten buckets. Now this is pass three. Again, we are going to take ten buckets ranging from zero to nine. Again, we are going to fill these buckets. How? So these are the number after pass two. So now we are going to see which digit the third one. Third one. So now here we have zero. We are we are going to put this in zeroth bucket. Here we have eight, eight zero two zero, zero zero two one zero nine, zero one zero. Here we have again zero one one, zero one five. Three to one, three to one, one to three. So digit is one. Here we have zero, zero nine zero. Right. So these are the buckets now. Now next step is what you are going to remove data from these buckets, right? And remove means we are going to store the data in an output array. So here is zero zero one. So you can write one. Here we have two. Here we have ten, eleven, fifteen. Ninety, one zero 
So this is the data after pass 3. So as you can see, this is the sorted data now. So here we have removed the extra zeros we have put to make the numbers 3 digit number, right? So this is now the sorted data as you can see. How many passes are required? 3. Means the uh, number of digits in the maximum number, those number of passes would be required. Here we have 3 digits, so 3 passes would be required. So this is how Redix sort will sort the data. See this Redix sort use what? count sort as a subroutine. So you know what is a count sort, right? And if you say the, the run, running time complexity for this sort is what? You can write order of D into N plus B. Now here see, D is what? Number of digits in maximum number. Number of digits are three. So here for each digit, we are going to repeat the steps right first of all for this digit then this then this how many times three times we have repeated so here we are taking d into n is the number of how many uh, numbers are there plus b is what base what is base here because we are going to take buckets equal to the base here base is 10 so we are going to take 10 buckets in alphabets base is 26 so in that case we will take 26 buckets from 0 to 25 that is why i am going to take here b n plus B and D is number of digits. So we are going to repeat the steps here for three times the number of digits times, right? So this is the time complexity. So this is all about bucket sort or you can say this uh, Redix sort. In next video, we are going to discuss shell sorting. So till then, bye-bye, take care.